It's a story that starts with a call to the police. Dana Marsh, a young officer, responds to the scene of a drug deal and arrests a suspect, Jarrell Jones. While neither man knew it at the time, it was the beginning of something remarkable. A bond that withstood a murder trial, prison time, and nearly three decades. Our correspondent, Jessica Gomez, has their story of friendship and support. I kind of grew up in the Leave it to Beaver family, the white picket fence and, <laughs> and everything else, and was uh, fortunate to have great parents. So I came from a legacy of murderers uh, in my family, addiction, uh, uh, alcoholism, uh, physical abuse, sexual abuse. You're scared all the time. The story of Dana Marsh and Jarrell Jones begins here at an apartment complex just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. I used to deal drugs right here. Dana, then a police officer with just one year on the job, arrested Jarrell for disorderly conduct. The 24-year-old, a drug dealer and addict with a long rap sheet. After that, Dana would see me on the street. I'd be selling drugs or buying drugs maybe and he would stop the car, hit the lights, and pat me down, and then start talking to me about changing my life. I saw something a little different in him. I can't explain it, don't know why. Jarrell eventually accepting the police officer's help. He left for his hometown of Birmingham, Alabama, with a bus ticket Dana bought him. This would have been the backyard. You'd come yeah. in front of the backyard, directly into the kitchen. But it didn't take long for Jarrell's troubled past to catch up with him. Staying in his great-grandmother's house, today an empty lot, he had a conflict with her husband and stabbed him to death. It was surreal. I felt like I couldn't believe I had done this. And um, I, stood, I sat there shaking, and then I basically I uh, made a decision that I was going to turn myself in. And I called Dana and told him that I had just killed a man. He said, uh, i got to take accountability. Uh, this is the only thing that I can do to change my life. Despite Dana testifying on his behalf, Jarrell was sentenced to life in prison. He was going through a lot of remorse, but he also had realized that the only way that he could make his life worth something is helping those that were coming in that were going to be able to get back out. Moving through prisons in four states, that's what Jarrell did, taking accountability classes, studying psychology, and counseling other inmates. From the outside, Dana, busy with a young family, continued to support him. He visited, you know, sent money, went to my, my, my hearings. Whatever he could do, he did. You know, he treated me like a brother. After 20 years behind bars, Jarrell's impact on others, earning him his release. Nobody had ever talked to y'all like that before. Today, that work continues, mentoring local teenagers, teaching things like landscaping and life lessons, ones he learned the hard way. When I say accountability, what comes to your mind? I tell them that they can be a promise of their environment instead of a product. Words are spirit and words are life. Jarrell's promise, helping neighborhoods like the one in which he grew up, heal. His work as a community leader, now attracting the attention of Birmingham's top cops and prosecutors. And always there, his friend Dana Marsh. What would you tell a young police officer who might be encountering the same situation today? You've got to have compassion. Uh, if we don't, things won't change. We learn that from each other then, yeah. Because his compassion towards me translated to my compassion towards others. Father, we thank you for the food we're about to receive. I was a violent criminal. Mm -hmm. And to think that, uh, you know, that this is what redemption looks like, you know, sitting at the table with the, the actual police officer that arrested you. Miracles are real. And so, toast to miracles. Glad yeah. to call you my friend. Thank you. <laughs> In Fayetteville, Georgia, for Matter of Fact, I'm Jessica Gomez. The Montgomery County Board of Parole pardoned Jarrell Jones, clearing his record.